Ooh, dang. It's only been like seven months since I uploaded anything, and uh, I'm sure it's like been way over a year since I actually commentated on something really significant, so... Uh, huh. Anyway! <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Um, so, uh, this is, a. Uh, used to be, let's see, Andy Master 3 back in the day. And I changed that to, like, the YouTube, or the, uh, the Google Plus profile, A Heart. And, uh, now I'm Dreus, and, uh, my Twitch is Dreus X. Just as a reference to, like, uh, Mega Man, and then the spin off series, Mega Man X. Just, uh, it's very, it's very clever, it's very subtle, you know, n nobody, nobody's ever, ever gotten that. So, uh, anyway, I just hope that, uh, this recording turns out okay, because this is, uh, this is a new headset that I have. Uh, the other one kind of broke, <laughs> but, uh, basically, this one, it actually connects with the little uh, headphone jack rather than a USB. Hopefully that means that there's better uh, quality audio, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, um, as I was saying, I want to apologize for uh, being away for so long. Um, I'll admit though, like, you know, school's really kept me busy. Um, I'm a fairly studious student, and I uh, just wanted to make sure that, you know, all my grades were going okay, and all that stuff. Um, Luckily, everything seems to be going well, um, you were wondering. Uh, okay, anyway, so, um, now, I wanted to do this for a while. I wanted to look at, uh, surprise, surprise, because my, my channel clearly isn't oversaturated enough with these games, um, I wanted to look at some Mega Man games. <laughs> I, um, really, the focus of this series of videos will be... How well do the Mega Man Game Boy games, how well do they approximate the console counterparts? Are they actually, like, really worth playing? Is there any reason to get these games? And, uh, the answer might surprise you. I would say that before, you know, before diving into them, I will say that there is a definitive, if you are a Mega Man fan, yes, you should play these games. They can, at times, be a little too similar to the console games, or at times they're, t they're a little too different to the point where they're not as faithful. And they do have their own set of limitations, which we'll go into, but in general, I would say that the Mega Man Game Boy games are absolutely worth at least a playthrough. They can be very difficult at times, they could be insanely easy at times, uh, but we'll get into that as we go through our little journey here of the five Mega Man Game Boy games. And then, speaking of Mega Man, because, you know, as I said two seconds ago, my channel's not oversaturated with those games already, uh, we're going to be going into, as I mentioned, the spin-off game, the X-Series. Um, I'll get into more of that when I cross that bridge, but for the time being, let's get started on these games. The intro's been going long enough, and I want to see what kind of, um, what kind of differences there are. Just really, what kind of experiences games can bring, and why I, sh I would honestly say that they're worth your time. I should ignore that little reset in, in the red at the corner of the screen. That, 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 that wasn't there. So, welcome to... Mega Man, just, this is just Mega Man. Uh, the full game of this one is actually Dr. Wily's Revenge, but either that was dummied out of the English version, maybe it was in the Japanese version, I don't know. Um, or they just wanted to keep it simple so people knew what they were getting into, but honestly, um, I think the plot of this game is just like, Dr. Wily built robots again. Either that, or it's like a time travel plot, like in Mega Man The Wily Wars. I don't really know. And honestly, it doesn't really matter. Let's get right into these games. So, right off the bat, we have only four Robot Masters instead of the six from the first Mega Man game. Um, this might seem like a, a more 
bite-sized game, but honestly, um, while it is shorter than the can than the console counterparts, I would definitely say that it does make up for it in other aspects, whether it's the level length. Uh, this game, however, the first game in the series, is a little, little, little basic, very, very small, very standard. Um, oh, we'll just start off with uh, the simple cut man. I gotta say, this little intro right before the actual song is really good. And really, just the, the song has this kind of, um... I'm not really sure how to describe it. I'm not, I'm not an expert at music. I'd say swing vibe, but I don't think that's really it. Um, you know, the, the timing of the notes are are different, but not, not wrong. You know, instead of... Instead of going like the very standard way that the, the normal song goes in the original NES game, uh, this one just plays with the uh, the timing a lot, and I really like it. These guys right here, they're uh, they're new to the game. The uh, well, I already passed them. Um, they uh, they just sort of spin in place up up in the air usually, and uh, you get close enough to them. And, uh, you'll hear that motor sound. And then, uh... Wait for it. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Hey, you're also gonna notice that right here, these are like half platforms. They're not a full block. They're, um... Not, like, semi-solid. Um, you can't go through them from the bottom or anything. But they are just regular blocks, but, like, it's interesting how the size of Mega Man is exactly the same. And yet these blocks, in order to compensate for that, a lot of the level design wouldn't allow for, like, only the big blocky designs. And so they had to make these half blocks, and you'll see them a little later in the game, too. Now, you might think that, like, this is a problem. Um, this uh, version of Mega Man, he, uh, the screen is limited. So it'll be very difficult to see things like around the screen, or like maybe the uh, the bosses are gonna be way too big for this. And while I would agree that there are some segments that I'll have to bring up that are that do not allow the uh, the game to be as great as it could be because of uh, not compensating for the Game Boy's smaller screen, I do think in other aspects it does succeed in trying to. Uh, adapt the game on the Game Boy, rather than just trying to uh, directly put in, throw in some elements. Here, this is something different from the uh, the console counterpart. Rather than that, um, that stationary building that just threw all those uh, rolling cutters out, this time we actually have some uh, some moving on their own. They're, uh, they're invulnerable. They're just uh, there as, like, obstacles more than enemies. Even that big eye right here. Takes a few less hits, and, and from my experience, I didn't actually count. I just kind of shoot, and then uh, he dies eventually. <laughs> um, you can only actually shoot, like you only actually hurt Big Eye when uh, he's uh, his body is extended when he's uh, in the air jumping. Oop. Gotta play a little hopscotch or uh, jump rope, I guess you can say. Sniper Joes. They're very slow in this game, except for that first bullet. It goes out, like, right away. Other than that, though, all the other bullets come out really slowly. You just run through these guys. And just like that, it's already time for the boss. They, they don't even have a little chamber. It's like this one tiny room thing. Kinda, it's, it's cute. You know what? I, I like it. And you fall down for the boss. Alright, let's see if I can... Uh, oh. Cutman can be kind of a, a, a different story in this in this game compared to the uh, NES. Not that it's too bad. A lot of these bosses can just be beaten by brute forcing it. With some very, very minimal pattern uh, following. I mean, I just barely survived that one, to be perfectly fair. Got a little Mega Man 2 homage, I guess. I mean, I guess it's supposed to try to directly copy. It doesn't fit as well as you'd think. 
Uh, regardless, though, we now have the rolling cutter. I'm just like number two. Um, well, I like man is weak to cut man, so we'll go with him. If you're wondering, the entire weakness chain isn't here in this game. Normally, uh, Cutman is is weak to uh, Gutsman's blocks. However, now since Fireman is the last one on the weakness chain, they decided, okay, well, now Cutman is weak to fire. Don't worry, they wouldn't they wouldn't completely. Oh my God, why did I do that? <laughs> they uh, they didn't completely get rid of any weaknesses or not allow you to hit do a lot of damage to a lot of these bosses. I hate when it appears right above you, like in the Yoku blocks here. They're also half Yoku blocks, as you can see. Oops. Ow. By the way, I just want to point out, those, uh... These, these uh... Uh, lightning bolt things can be really annoying. For example, oh no, I missed the jump. I wonder what will happen if I... Ow! They, they just appear right away as soon as you enter the screen. That is kind of obnoxious. Um, Alright, get the one right above me. Regardless, um, they do a decent amount of damage. And luckily, it's not as much damage as in the console games, because your life bar is only... While the, uh, the actual life bar in the console games is 28 bars of health, Alright, let me see if I can do this one. Ooh. Ow. Ugh. Yep. That's what's cheap about these things. Probably shouldn't have demonstrated that because I completely accidentally demonstrated why those were so annoying. Also, this little fan here, you gotta keep running against it. I also like the idea of fans. It kind of seems more indicative of Airman's stage, but you'll see that because. This came out... I don't actually know when it came out. It could have came out around the same time as Mega Man 2 was already out. Um, so they incorporated some themes from other from other uh, games, such as, like, you'll see some Airman enemies. Um, I forget what I was going to say now. Um, oh yeah, so in the console games, uh, I want to point out something else before we... Uh, to that. In the console games, uh, Mega Man has like 28 bars of health. I think he only has like, um, I want to say 19 in, in this one. I don't know the exact number, so I'll put it on screen now when post. Um, I want to point out something about these games though. Something that it got, I had to get used to it, and it's not really my favorite, but honestly, it's not something I, I couldn't adjust to after a while. Mega Man has a little bit of momentum in the air. Um, now he does still stop on a dime, um, or pretty pretty close to stopping on a dime on the ground. However, um, obviously you know he'll accelerate as he falls down the air to a very small extent. He does fall pretty slowly, um, but if you let's say. Right here, like this platform, for all intents and purposes, as soon as I go, as soon as I go lower from this platform, if I'm not holding left, I should absolutely fall straight down in in any other Mega Man game, right? So normally, if I were to just stop holding left as soon as I were below the this platform, I would still just fall straight down, right? Because I don't have any kind of momentum, and you know, Mega Man just would would fall immediately straight down just like if I were to do this and then and then I hold left a little bit um, in fact it would be good for like positioning myself in the console games but in this game it actually seems like if I was jumping left before and I was still going like forward as soon as I was touching this wall it remembers that I, that I was uh, going a little left so even though I'm going to jump left and then let go of everything, except for jump, like, again, I'm not going to hold left or right. Now I'm actually slightly below the platform. This seems like a very, very slight thing, 
and honestly it kind of is, but you'll understand, um, if you play this game you'll understand just why that little, little bit of difference can actually uh, screw you up, it's just that slightest bit. Um, especially, like again, if you're lining yourself up on the platform. Um, ooh, okay, here we go. Sorry for taking so long on that, I just... Man, these, uh, new head- new headphones, just want to make sure, you know, everything's working. So, those things that go, like, up and down, left and right, um, I've heard two different names for those things, uh, Suzy? Like, literally just S-U-Z-Y, not like the name Suzy, unless someone's named Suzy. See, I just killed one. Um, or Octopus Battery? I have no idea where Octopus Battery came from, but I swear I heard that somewhere. And, like, this isn't just, like, some name someone made up. I think that this was, like, legitimate. Maybe, like, the manuals have different localization or something? In fact, it seems like a lot of, uh, a lot of enemies in this game, in the Mega Man games in general, they don't seem to have consistent names. Um... Maybe I'll put those on screen if I can remember. Ooh, here we got another uh, case. This the time between these is actually really strict um, to get through those and get in between. Like very surprising compared to like the console games. Uh, honestly, I feel like the much stricter nature of these games suggests that maybe the beta testing was fairly limited. Um, to be honest, I don't really know. We get a good big jump. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. We got a pretty comfortable ride to the end. Now it's time for a luck man. He is kind of annoying. I'm just going to stand here. Alright, well, I think I have a general idea of how to do this. I've done this before, you, you can sort of stunlock him, but only when he's on the opposite end of the screen to do it, like, well. See, now... You only want to shoot when he's on the ground if you want him to jump left, or jump really towards you. Other than that, you just want to shoot right before he touches the ground to actually get the hit on him. There we go. That's the stun lock on him. <laughs> he's really pathetic, honestly. I like this, this, uh, this model right here of Mega Man's innards. Yeah, don't, don't take that, uh, too literally there. Um... Now, well, Iceman was weak to Electman's weapon in the original. Um, so let's go to him. Da, da. See, it's like... The timing of the notes are different than the uh, console counterparts, and you'll hear it in this next section of the music. Anyway. Back on track. It's just, uh, use a rolling cutter. I actually have much less reservations about using special weapons in uh, the Game Boy games than I do the console games. Partially because the Game Boy games can be pretty brutal at times. Um, sometimes because, um, 
the very end of the game, it seems like a lot of enemies just really should be killed using your special weapons. Even Susie's here, um, gotta make them very weak with the rolling cutter. Here we got a new gimmick. We got uh, icicles falling from the ceiling, and you can use them as platforms. This one takes a bit of puzzle solving. I actually like this idea. See, so cling, jump on this platform, then this platform, then this platform again, and another icicle falls on top of this one, and you can make it across. And note, by the way, you do not have any kind of rush weapon. Uh, you do get something called carry, but I think you only get that once you beat all four of the Robot Masters. I could be wrong on that. Um, seems like I always get it after Fireman, and but I usually do Fireman last anyway, just because of the weakness order and... Uh, not that I actually use the weaknesses, but... <laughs> nice. Kind of looks like Mega Man just got in his uh, hurt animation for a second at the bottom of that pit. Is that is that just me, or like, did that really happen? Uh, instant replay that one. P ooh, post me. Anyway. He's a... Uh, I, I, I don't know, hot dog dispensers, toothpaste dispensers, whatever you want to call them, something dispensers. Um, those guys on the ground that are too short to hit normally. Yeah, th those guys really need to be uh, taken out with some kind of weapon other than the Mega Buster. If you want to really call it that. Or as I used to call it the Power Buster. Man, I remember those. Um, I've been looking, I've been uh, thinking about redoing my... Uh, my older playthroughs of the Mega Man games, particularly uh, one to three, because um, I think my biggest defense of two was the fact that I uh, was on easy mode, or uh, well, it really is normal mode, mode as they say. But uh, let's be honest, it's it's easy mode. It's, it's the American. Uh, we're not gonna challenge you too much mode. Alright. Now, time for Iceman. Let's -a go. It's a Mario. He's actually way easier than the console games. He's kind of a joke in this version. Yeah. Yeah, he he, he is way too slow to do any kind of carnage whatsoever. His projectiles just are so useless. I think they still do a fair bit of damage, but I don't think it's like a third of your health, like in the console games. Um... Well, anyway. Got Ice Slasher, and it's time for... Fireman. This stage already had, like, looks... It's weird because it hits that uncanny valley of being very different and having different gimmicks. Uh, like the fact that there's so many goddamn Civies. Civies. Wow. Okay, that is surprisingly less effective because of the uh, wavy pattern. Uh, here's a case where it's where it's very similar to the console games in that it has things falling from the sky. These uh, uh, chankies, whatever they're called. And these, uh, fire jets. There are- you see, here's the, here are the vertical fire jets, and the lava, by the way. There are also horizontal fire jets you'll see, uh, later in the level. One of them almost cheap shots you, and it's really fucking stupid. We'll get to that one. <laughs> and here we have some, uh, some things from, uh, Heatman- er, Heatman's. I, it should be Heat Man's because they're fire. No, it's Quick Man stage for Mega Man 2. Um, and because they throw Chankies as well, it actually really fits with the uh, design of Fireman stage. Get the hell out of here. Ow, oh, what? His hitbox is a little extended when he's in the throwing animation. 
Just gotta watch out for that. If you're wondering, it, it, it might seem like I'm shooting a lot slower, and I, I don't just mean, like, the actual speed of the bullets. Um, but, honestly, the Game Boy can only let you shoot so fast. Like, I can I can mash B as, as fast as I can. It seems like only the bullets will uh, come out that fast. This is the, the uh, sideways fire jet here. If you're running too fast, it will completely, like cheap shot you. Um, we'll learn more about cheap shots in Mega Man 3 for Game Boy. Oh yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll get to that game. We, we will. Please. Oh, what? Uh, I really <laughs> messed up a really dumb jump. Alright, I'll meet you guys back to that moment. Mm. That was a bad idea. Aha, we meet again. Sideways fire, but this time I'll freeze you and jump on top of you. There's no graphic to show that you can really jump on top of it, but yeah, you can take my word that you can. Uh, we're about where, uh, where I was before. Getting a lot of use out of the rolling cutter. Love it. Anyway, oh! Ugh. Oh, God. You know, one thing in Mega Man, I think that could have been handled a uh, little bit better is um, the fact that the game has to freeze whenever you pick up a, uh, a health healing item or a um, extra energy or ammo, you know. We're getting close to the end now. Um, here's a new gimmick. It's uh, these lighters. I don't know what you call them. Just gotta, just gotta strategically jump across them. We'll see a little more of these chunky throwers in a minute. Oh my god! Oh my god. Can you just thank you? Kind of obnoxious, honestly. I'm gonna bring out the rolling cutter! We're almost on the stage anyway. And Fireman's not weak to it, so, uh, it doesn't even matter. Not that I'm gonna use weaknesses, honestly. I should remove the retainer that's in my mouth right now, causing me to slur my S's. And that definitely didn't help. Okay, <laughs> let's ignore that. Believe it or not, Fireman is easier than he is in the console games. Ignore the fact that I just got hit right there. Just gotta get used to the timing. You can just mash the crap out of him and jump when you need to. Actually, you can just mash the crap out of him, honestly. I, I don't even think you need to dodge any of his Firestorm things. Ah, uh, well, maybe, maybe you do. He just fires pretty damn slowly. He doesn't fire extra when you fire at him. It's kind of nuts, honestly. Now we get Carry. Carry is really the. It's not the magnet beam or anything. There's Wily. Ooh, I like how it's going like left and right on the speakers. I don't know if you can like hear that in the YouTube video, but it's kind of cool. Now we get to hear what is probably my favorite song in uh, in this game, which, even though I like the remixes, damn, you know, 
The uh, the Game Boy games have got some good custom music. Uh, custom, I like to say custom music. You know, they got new tracks, some of them. And, uh... This one's a pretty good one. Ooh. Now for everyone's favorite section, the, uh, the moles. Again, Rolling Cutter makes quick work of them, which is good. Again, more enemies hailing from Mega Man 2, which, uh, whenever you're in the free fall like this, grab carry and, uh, never let go. Okay, there we go, see? As soon as you press B, carry appears under you. Ow. Tried to get around that guy. Yeah, that's, that's a real bitch move right there, the pitfall of spikes. I mean, luckily, again, carry's still a thing. Oh, uh, jumping Sniper Joes, here we go. Now we're really getting somewhere, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. Do these guys always look like they have grinning faces? Is, is, is it just me? Looks like it's a big smile under, under that, those eyes there. But it, it's not, it's really just them tilted at, at an angle and having like... I don't know, a se segmented uh, bottom, like a Thanos chin. Oh! It's very hard to get out of that and, and not take a hit. I'm very surprised I did, and, uh, oh. Let's see if I can make this. Hoo-ha! Okay. Not that we really need this, but might as well just uh, grab some extra rations. Ooh. <laughs> Another possible bitch move with these, uh, the fan and those electric, uh, currents, I guess. I don't know. We got pippies! Uh, you gotta love them. Except, no, you don't gotta love them, you gotta fucking hate them. God, I hate those pippies. <clears throat> uh, would you like some more moles? I've heard you like moles. Uh, here we go. That's uh, this is a uh, this is a good way to pad out game time. It's really not that bad. But it still is kind of annoying. I really don't see why it has to be so cramped. Even in Mega Man 2, I I think it's just kind of obnoxious. Not, again, not the worst thing because at least it can give you like rations. You can see here they're they're dropping stuff like like mad, and every single one of them. Okay, never mind. But so many of them are dropping a lot of stuff here. Can't even be too mad at this. Not that I need half of this stuff, but actually, to be perfectly honest, most of that is just weapon energy used for the rolling cutters I'm using to kill these guys with. Ugh. Alright, I, I take it back. I don't need this shit. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, let's see if I can make this. I need two carries to get across here. So I need to wait for one to run out before I can use another. Yes! It can be kind of hard to time that one. And now we go in a deep, deep dive. The Dr. Wily teleport system. But wait, are we having a boss rematch? Well, we're having a rematch with four bosses, but they're not from this game. They're not from Mega Man 1. Oh yeah, we're doing the Mega Man 2 Robot Masters. Four of them, at least. And uh, the other four, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see later. And it sort of becomes a trend with these games. Pikman's kind of obnoxious. I mean, he's already obnoxious, but... Just don't want to take contact damage with him. Ugh, okay. Alright, that was an okay fight. Get in the teleporter, please. You gotta wait for the music to stop, and then... a little longer. And then finally the teleport starts working. And there's a quick boomerang. Um, right down here is uh, Flashman. Up here is Bubble Man, and down here is Heat Man. I think I'm gonna take on Heat Man. He's 
Probably the second hardest. Especially because he cheap shots you, and I don't think there's, like, a good way to dodge that. Ugh. I'm not doing too well on this already. I don't like it. Ugh. Ugh. Icky. This is, this is an icky fight. I don't like it. Yeah, surprisingly, the the easier Robot Masters are really hard. <laughs> Probably because of the way they're like very awkwardly programmed. But I don't I don't know how to dodge that that, that first uh, volley of shots. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait a second. You can attack him during that animation. Or can you? Is it is it really is he it actually doing damage to him? I don't, I don't know if it is. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's just absorbing shots, but it's not taking any damage. It's not giving him any damage. Yeah. So this fight will go on for a while. It goes on actually longer than the console games because he only takes one damage per shot instead of multiple. And uh, in this game, they have like 19 damage. So. Uh, or 19 health. So yeah, you have to do 19 shots instead of his 14 in the console games. Oof. Noxious, dude. Noxious. Okay. Thank you. I will gladly take that and walk away. And walk away. Okay, thank you. Alright, the third hardest, in my opinion, is Flashman. Oh, by the way, if you get a game over, no matter how many bosses you get, and you do get these guys' weapons, luckily, which is, which is pretty cool, you know? It's an extra little bonus. Not just the uh, four weapons you get from the original four Robot Masters. Um, but if you, do, if you get a game over in this level, which I'm probably about to at some point, um, you lose. The weapons that you got, and you have to refight the four bosses again. That is really obnoxious. This is just a one big marathon level. You can just repeatedly uh, make Flashman jump, effectively slowing him down a fair bit. Fortunately, though, you really can't do anything about the uh, the flash. The uh, I say that the flash stop is actually the time stopper because his name is Flashman. You'd think it would be called the Flash something. I don't know. I guess that's not the case for everything. There's atomic fire, but there is a flash stopper in the series, but it is not wielded by Flashman. Oh, there's no there's no dash in between time and stopper. Look, there is in the console games. I, I think there is. I'm gonna have to look into that. All right, this is a pretty standard Bubble Man fight compared to like the console games, honestly. It can be kind of hard, but he doesn't do too much damage, so really I can't complain. Though I do want to have a fair bit of health left um, for the upcoming boss, and oh yeah, this, this level isn't over. Okay, not at full health, but now eh, we're close. Come on, teleport. Oh, there we go. Alright, didn't take too long. Alright, bubble lead. And all four of these weapons are kind of useless because... Or, I mean, I guess for this boss. Because uh, this boss... I think really just has to t get get damage from the uh, from the Buster. <sighs> Introducing Anchor. The way he gets from the side of one side of the screen to the other is random, and it's not very clear if he's gonna jump twice sometimes or jump and run the rest of the way. That's the only time it really it really screws me up. Other times, if he just runs straight, it means he's gonna run all the way to the end. Oh, see. I'm not sure if he's going to jump twice, or jump and run. Ouch! Uh, you know what that means. 
<laughs> I have to play the entire fucking level again. I'll be back. Oh yeah, and just just for proof, there you go. No other weapons. It's one big marathon. See you guys on the other side. Now I gotta admit, <laughs> these... I did sort of make a joke about padding out game time, but yeah, it's kind of true. This mole section is probably, like, this and the, and the other one, but this one especially, um, really are the reasons why this level takes a while. Other than that, it's a pretty short level. And I guess the music makes up for it, because it, it is, it is some, a, good, a good track while you trek through this kind of hellish marathon. Alright, let's get that one up. Gorgeous. It's a gorgeous life. Yeah. Alright, time for a speed run of the bosses, and by that I mean I'm gonna speed up the footage and it'll look like I'm playing fast. health. We're gonna take out Anchor. These, uh, these guys right here, Anchor, and two more that we'll see throughout the, uh, throughout the Mega Man Game Boy games. They are considered the Mega Man Killers. They do a great job. An Anchor does, at least. They're actually pretty solid, uh, bad guys. Ow. Gotta not be too close to his sword when he fires it. The actual sword has an extended hitbox too. Ooh. There we go. Now we got the Mirror Buster, and Wily is escaping. Like usual. <laughs> he escaped from that Skull Castle to this Skull Castle. And now we're in the space. The space race? I don't know. The. This is a uh, space area zone. You know, like the Sonic game, space area zone. So that's my favorite Sonic zone. What? Anyway, just to show off the different weapons, uh, Ice Slasher is as you'd expect. Firestorm is as you'd expect, just like the console games. Really, they're actually they're all as you'd expect, so I'm not really gonna touch on them. Anchor, the uh, mirror buster, if you hold B in front of you... Um... Uh, yeah, you get a little shield, and every time an enemy shoots a projectile, you can... shoot it directly forward, I think. Oh, uh, I guess I'll demonstrate it with the nearby enemy. Hmm. 
There we go. Pray for this guy. Ooh. Toothpaste dispenser. <laughs> it's another pretty good song. I like it. Alright, <laughs> grab carry out. Ugh! That is a very bad cheap shot right there. I think that's the last of them, though. Oop. And it's time for more Yoku's, everyone's favorite. Pippies, more pippies. Whenever a room that doesn't have any enemies, you gotta be gotta be careful. I slash her to these guys. And we'll just shoot them a few times, yeah. If we time it right, this guy, oh. Sometimes you can make it so that this guy is just a little out of your way so you can just jump right past him. Third guy. Second verse, third verse, also same as the first. Ooh, got these guys from Cutman stage. Ooh. Some of them are fast, some of them are slow. Now the really slow Yoku block section. And we got a lot of directly upward jumps, and I just failed. Oof, I survived that somehow. Okay. Time it better. Alright, we got we got past him. Now there's no more direct jumps. Whew. <laughs> I've never survived that before. I'm 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 acting cool like oh yeah, it's a common everyday occurrence. Never done that before. <laughs> um, okay. Guys, a bit annoying. Ooh, more Cutman stage enemies. I appreciate the uh, the end game feel of this. It's like you know all the enemies are coming together. Got to you know learn all the different concepts. You gotta put your knowledge to the test. Doesn't have everything though, but mostly just the Cutman and stuff, honestly. <laughs> and I guess the Lechman uh, lasers you saw earlier. And I guess Sniper Joes are pretty universal. And I don't remember if Pippies were in uh, Cutman stage. So, I don't know. I guess we gotta... Ow. Face left. Thank you. So the Pippies can... Uh, ow. Also, that's, that's a bit of an annoying cheap shot right there. Ow. Face right. Make sure to face right here. Thank you. These things are indestructible, except with a, an atomic fire blast. And luckily, they, it doesn't cost nearly as much energy to shoot a fully charged shot as it does the console games. So you can use a lot more of it. In fact, the final boss's first form is weak to it, and it really helps it. I remember not to get damaged in certain places. Okay. Dodge that guy. Okay. Now it's time for the ending. I just gotta stick the landing at the end here. Okay. And a bit of hopscotch. Let's let's play a bit of hopscotch before we go. Uh, keep saying hopscotch. Jump rope. So it's, it's playground activity. It's all the same to me. All right, let's grab this life. I'm definitely gonna end up dying for the first uh, attempt here. Here's the final boss. After a marathon of a level. 
Basically just wait for this first shot and then go right up to it. Ooh, that was close. Alright. That was part number one. Part number two, stand a little bit, or somewhere close to the middle. And just hold B and don't let go. See that little laser there? Also that claw, it follows your uh, horizontal position. So make sure you don't hide yourself in the corner the whole time. You gotta, you gotta sort of go out so it doesn't follow you that far. One more shot. There we go. And that's Mega Man 1 on Game Boy. Simple adventure. It's a simple time. It's pretty short. Uh, you can beat it very quickly. But I think that for as cheap as it is on the Nintendo eShop on a 3DS, as well as, I guess, if you really want to get it on, a, on an emulator, I'd say it's worth it to um, just check it out. And, uh, really, it's, that's all it is. It's just a, it's just a fun time. It's a, it's a, it's a good time. I'm padding out the game length here. There's Susie, that's what I was referring to. <laughs> um, see, you know, we got, we got, there's the Chanky, it's just if you thought I was making that name up. And, um, anyway. Yeah, Mega Man, Mega Man 1 on Game Boy, or, uh, the, uh, Dr. Wily's Revenge. Um, definitely a decent Game Boy game. It's nothing stellar. Um, I said, you know, I said I think it's worth trying, but, um, if you think you're really missing out by not playing this, no. Not really. I'd say... You can apply that more for games later down the list. But for this one, this is just a simple adventure. For, uh, for people that experienced the NES game, wanted to try something else, so they got the Game Boy game. Probably tried to figure, oh, it's just Mega Man on the go, it's the same game. It's, I mean, it sort of is, but... It's as formulaic as the original, I'll give it that. And, uh, what else is there to say? It's, it's, uh, it's good to be back. It's good to have spent time on a game just to be back on YouTube and do something, you know? Turns out this recording gets, somehow gets corrupted. But, uh, oh boy. Anyway. I'll let the credits play out, and, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in Mega Man 2 on Game Boy. That's a good profile pic right there. Meh. He's so happy and so cute.